Well, hello again, everyone. As I said on the uh, opening screen there, this is uh, a little front yard cleanup. Um, I tend to get tunnel vision. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so in tune with the backyard, and when I, when I drive up, I kind of look down the driveway through the fence, and, you know, then I, gotta, I back my trailer back there, and I'm not even, I haven't even really looked at the front yard. It's not bad, uh, but there's a lot of debris and uh, stuff like that. It, right this angle here doesn't really show it, but uh, there's some leaves and small sticks in there. But the uh, up closer to the house, there's some branches down and stuff like that. So, uh, and I got my chute blocked on this uh, on Polly. I think we're calling this uh, this Polly the mower here. I uh, got the chute blocked, so it'll just kind of mulch some stuff up. I almost gave this lawnmower away when I got my new uh, zero turn Toro, but. I thought, gee whiz, this is a good old mower. You know, I've had it since we bought the house, uh, and I keep it serviced up, so that's yeah, good for stuff like this. So anyway, I will do a little cleanup here. I uh, want to thank everyone. Got uh, quite a few comments about uh, Miss Jocelyn popping in, uh, and, and that was that was nice. Nice to hear her voice. Um, she said uh, thank you and hello to everyone, and you know she'll be back another time. You know, when we uh, when we get around, we'll uh, we'll do something together. But anyway, she's the uh, she's the force behind all this. Um, you know, we're uh, we're a pretty good team, but uh, she's a she's a good one, and she's right. I am the pest. There's no question about that. <laughs> one of the view one of you viewers said that Jocelyn has a has a, a good sense of humor. I, and I said, yes, yeah, she does. She married me, didn't she? So. <laughs> anyway, good to have her here beside me every day. I love it. Um, I also got a uh, a comment from uh, Katrina. <clears throat> Katrina told me that her grandson had caught COVID, and he was quarantined. He is okay. Now he's getting much better, but he's quarantined. And I guess um, Grandma uh, Katrina. Katrina, excuse me, uh, is staying with him um, while he's quarantined, and they're watching YouTube. And she said that uh, she said that her grandson said that I'm one of one of his favorite YouTubers. Which wow, that's uh, I'm glad to hear that. That's that's a very very nice compliment. At any rate, um, I want to give a nice shout out to Layton. Layton, we hope you're getting better. Uh, we hope you enjoy these videos, um, and if there's anything that you would like me to put on video or do different, uh, you tell you tell Grandma, and we'll uh, we'll make it happen for you, okay? But thanks so much, young man, for watching these videos, and I'm I'm happy that you enjoy them, and I'm happy that you're getting better. So you stay safe and healthy, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. So that is Layton. Big shout out to you, Layton. Thank you. And thank all of you. Um, yep, keep Leighton in your prayers, and uh, let's get him healthy and up and running around again. Okay, so we'll just uh, continue to kind of chip up the front here. Like I said, I got the uh, chute blocked. There you can see a lot of the debris. And here's the before picture, and sometimes I look at this and I'm amazed that what I've accomplished, but again, one bite at a time, uh, you know, one step at a time, and it gets done. So that tree right in front of me needs some attention. Uh, a lot of branches falling out of that, and that branch hanging over the driveway needs to be trimmed up a bit. So, yeah, you know, I got a little tree work to do here and there, but got a lot of tree work to do in the back, but little tree work to do here. And on the left side of the driveway, got some trimming to do, so. Anyway, just going along picking up some limbs, and I'll get them in the backyard, and uh, that'll be a little snack for Chip later on. And uh, I will pop back in here in just a bit.
You know, as I, I sit here and watch these videos, I think back to a lot of the, the comments that I get. And I get a lot of tips on doing things differently than the way I do it and, and stuff like that. And I've actually listened to some YouTube videos where the, the person making the video uh, gets a little irritated with comments. I, I've heard one YouTuber, or a couple of them, say things like, yeah, as usual, everybody on YouTube's got a better idea than me, and they're going to say it on here, and they're going to tell me how I should do it and what I should do. I don't look at things that way. I, I look at things like if somebody makes a comment about perhaps you could do this or perhaps you could do that, that, that to me is helpful. And as I've said before, I've, I've adopted some of those tips that I've gotten. I, I can't remember exactly which ones, but some people have, have said some things, and I thought, wow, that, you know, like I said at the beginning, tunnel vision. Sometimes I get used to doing things a certain way, and um, you know somebody can can look at that and say, "Hey, I I think this might be a better way." And I don't I don't take that as a negative, and it doesn't bother me. Um, you know the only kind of comments that bother. I got one, I got one in the last video, and it, and I'm not knocking the person. I, I really am not. You know they got a right to say whatever they want, and that's fine. But the comment was, quote, uh, start running, lose weight, quit walking like a duck. And that's all they wrote, I thought. So I wrote back and I said, by the way, how did you like the video? And, you know, and I, and I said, you know, I agree with you. I should lose some weight. I said, as far as uh, start running, I don't think that's going to happen with uh, bad hips. And <laughs> But anyway, uh, those kind of comments are... I'm, you know, I'm sure it wasn't meant to be nasty, but still, it doesn't really help anybody. You know, I, look, I, yeah, I'm overweight, but, you know, I, I get good reports from the, in fact, my doctor about four years ago, my doctor finally said, I'm not going to say a word about your weight anymore. Every time I do, you come back in six months and your blood work is good. Your heart is good. Everything is good. I mean, you know, internally is good because I do stay moving and I've been doing cardio type stuff most of my life so yeah i need to lose some weight but uh you know at this point in my life it's uh, it's difficult so anyway that those kind of comments are you know that they're, they're not really helpful but at the same time i when i read them i kind of laugh but as far as tips like uh you know hey why don't you put a tarp down and put the chips on the tarp or why don't you those kind of comments i i like um you know i may not agree with all of them that which doesn't matter but oh here's uh where you can see in the left side of the driveway obviously i got some uh some work to do there and you can see that before picture where this yeah my next victim pampas grass right there i better better get on it it's starting to grow pretty good i trimmed it um the, i think the day before i did this i just kind of trimmed it real quick when i was coming in but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the tips and the comments, and uh, I like interacting with people. Like I say, I read every comment. I, I literally read every comment, and I try to respond to as many as I possibly can. If I haven't responded to you in some time, forgive me, I, uh, I will, uh, you know. And, and, you know, if you want to ask a question or something like that, that's a good way to, you know, where I'll – I trigger on that and it's, hey somebody's asking me something so I'll respond to that but I certainly do appreciate the support uh, I'm getting great support uh, and, I, and I enjoy doing this obviously and I'm glad I'm glad that people like the uh, the narration I it's kind of fun I I never had a problem talking my wife will attest to that um, you know I'm the gift of gab but I do enjoy it but as far as Gab goes, I'll be quiet here for a little bit and uh, come back in before the end of the video.
You know, sometimes I, I, I think as we get older, thinking back and reminiscing and, and all that stuff uh, becomes more prevalent in our lives. At least it does in mine. You know, I think back to younger days and things like that. But uh, the other day I was thinking back to the, the day that I actually left for the Air Force for basic training. Um, I remember it like it was yesterday. I got on a train <clears throat> took a train into Boston and then uh, from Boston got out of plane and um, and headed down to San Antonio to start my basic training. Uh, I did return to San Antonio uh, three and a half years after I came in a, as an instructor so uh, that was a that was a little bit better deal than being uh, in basic training but I remember I remember, getting on the train and being excited and then getting on the plane and being excited and all that and then we got off the plane and the bus picked us up and brought us to the base and and then the ti showed up and you know and then the fun started and i thought to myself what am i doing <laughs> you know it's like oh my god at that point you know i think everybody had that uh i want to go home type feeling uh but i look back now and uh how good it's been to me um the air force uh how much I enjoyed it, uh, the things I've learned, the the, the people that I've met. Uh, you know, when you when you leave the Air Force in '88 from Germany, and you stay out for uh, 15 years and come back in in 2003, and then retire in 2012, and then have three people that you used to work with in Germany show up from around the country to your retirement ceremony. That just speaks volumes for the type of people that we've met, the type of guys and, and gals that I've worked with, and uh, you know it. it and, and Jocelyn feels the same way. You know, um, this when I talked about the last video, the young man Bill that we reconnected with. Uh, you know, Jocelyn remembers him like it was yesterday too. You know, I mean, it's you know they used to come over the house and everything, but you know. I've said in the past that you never really make close friends in the military because, you know, either you or they will get transferred to another base and move on. 
but I think it really is true friendship is m more so because we don't have to, if we haven't seen each other in years and years, and then all of a sudden we do, uh, you know, none of us say things like, you know, well, how come you haven't contacted me? You know, why didn't you call me? You know, it, there's none of that. It's just uh, great to see you again or great to talk to you, things like that. Um, and it's and it's also true of uh, of my friends from, you know, high school and, and growing up that I've reconnected with over the past 10, 15 years, you know, uh, via Facebook. You know, my daughter, I fought it for the longest time. My daughter finally said, Daddy, you know, you need to get on Facebook. You can connect with some of your friends, you know, and I have. I've done just that, you know, talk to people. And, of course, I prefer to get a phone number and, and talk to them on the phone. I, I like that a lot better, and I've done that with, with a few of my close friends, so. But anyway, uh, it's important, you know, thinking back and looking back and all that stuff. It, it's just, it means a lot. And I think as we get older, we do that. Uh, you know, it's easy to remember what happened 20 years ago than it is to remember what happened, you know, this morning. So at any rate, um, I'm just finishing up the weed eating here. And here's another before picture. That was the very first day I brought my brand new mower over there thinking I was going to use it. I haven't even used it over here, not even once, so, <laughs> which is fine. But what a what a change, you know. When I look at that, look at that. I, I just think to myself, my God, that's that's nice. I I, I like that. And I'm glad y'all came along in this journey with me. I sure do appreciate it. I appreciate all of you, and, and thanks for the comments and, and the tips. And uh, keep watching, keep sharing it with your friends, give me a thumbs up, and subscribe, and all those good things. But the main thing is, uh, you know, let me know if there's something else you want to see or, you know, somebody mentioned they'd like to see me, some of the things that I do around here. I will put some of that stuff up. Um, I'll try to incorporate it into, into one of these videos. That, that'll that make it a little bit better. So anyway, folks, I will see you on the next one. I'm just going to finish up here and uh, we'll talk to you later. Wish everyone well and uh, see you on the next video. Oh, <laughs>